This section heading is called Configuring the Syslog Server. So what we've done up to this point is we've installed Snort on this device. We configured Snort to enable it to send its alert messages to the local syslog service. We then configured that syslog service to forward those messages over to the central um, syslog server, which in this case here is going to be yourbank.com. Okay, so now picking up where, you know, where we left off right there. I know that sounds like a lot. Uh, so picking up where we left off there, we're going to click on Alice over here. And we're going to open up Putty. So we'll establish a session with yourbank.com. And now once on here, we're going to use the stream editor once again. So this is going to look kind of similar to configuring the client. So we're going to be messing with essentially the same files. It's just that we're adding, you know, different configurations. So the first file is going to be the syslog config file. And what we're looking to do in here is we're looking to enable this your bank device to receive syslog messages from a remote host. So first we're going to type sudo sed. We're going to use the dash n option and we're going to view lines 19, excuse me, 17 to 19. And this is for the R syslog config file. So what we can see here is that kind of functionality to receive those messages is commented out. We can tell that by these comment characters over here. So what we're going to do, remove them. So now up arrow key, and then we'll come over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say we want to edit the in place file. Once again, we want to edit lines 18 and 19. And what we want to do on those lines is we want to substitute the hashtag with white space. Do I got one too many there? I think so. Let me see here. One, two. Yeah, perfect. All right. So hit enter, up arrow key a couple times, and now we're good. All right. So now the next file is that 50 default config file. So we're going to go and hit the no up that arrow key for this. So we're going to do sudo nano. It's Etsy, our syslog D. And then it's 50 defaults.conf. OK, so we're going to scroll down to line four where there is the white space right here. And we're going to type if from host dash IP equals, so if it equals 10.10.1.1, which is our IDS device, then what we want to do is we want to log it to this location. So var log, and then inside of our logs directory, we want to give it kind of a name that's identifying. So the name for it is going to be IDS. The IDS location is in the DMZ.log. So once again, we're going to add that ampersand tilde to ensure that these log messages that get sent to this file do not bleed down into these log files down here. So now we're going to do a control X, Y to save, hit enter. All right. So now we want to verify the syntax within that file. So we're going to type our syslog D dash N one. And if we reach the end of the configuration file, then we know that the syntax was good. So now one thing I just wanted you to do here was just to see that when you read in the service that it actually generates that log file. So we want to LS the log directory and we don't see that file name within here. So down here, you don't see IDS DMZ.log. And then if you read in the service, sudo service, rsyslog, rsyslog, oh, spelled service wrong, that's why. It's one good thing about tab completion. You'll know when you're making a mistake. So I always use the tab completes. And if it's not completing, and I believe that it should, then 
I know to start looking at my my commands that I'm entering in. All right, so we restart. We can see the process ID, up arrow key twice, and we can see that we generated that log file.